Jigsaw vs. Circular Saw, now on Jack TV. When we do tool comparisons, sometimes it is a very close race. Impact wrenches and drills can both be used for the same tasks but with other tools things are quite different. That's case in our jigsaw versus circular saw battle where we pit the two tools against each other. Actually, it's not much of a fight, although one clearly comes out on top. If you are debating between the two, we are also going to break down the differences and tell you what each is best suited for. Which is better? jigsaw or circular saw, before we can answer that question, you will have to ask yourself a few things. How often will you use the saw, and for what are you buying it? A jigsaw power tool, is a jigsaw made up of an electric motor, and a reciprocating saw blade. Jigsaws with sole plates, that have a beveling function, can cut angles typically up to 45 degrees relative to the normal vertical stroke to make miter joints. In the past, what are now usually called scroll saws were often referred to as jigsaws. Also known as a saber saw, the jigsaw features a long thin blade, similar looking to that of a serrated knife, that cuts in a rapid up and down motion. It is equipped with the ability to handle many different types of cuts, and depending on the blade used, was engineered to cut through a variety of different materials. A jigsaw is considered one of the most versatile tools out there because of the wide range of cuts it's capable of. These can range from long, straight cuts to curved and beveled cuts. In fact, the jigsaw is usually the go-to tool for cutting curves. One of the best features of the jigsaw is that it can even make cuts out of the center of many of the materials you may be working with. The jigsaw can also cut a variety of different materials. These range widely and can include both soft and hardwoods, particle board, plywood, plastic, metal, ceramic tile, plastic and countertops. Quality cuts in all of these materials will depend on picking the correct blade for what you are working with. Some jigsaw blades include U-shank blades, progressive tooth blades, standard TPI blades and reverse tooth blades. When it comes to choosing the correct blade, the basic information you need to know is blades with larger but fewer teeth are good for fast cuts but will produce a rough edge. Blades with smaller teeth are slower, but result in a smoother surface. Replacing your blade when it wears out will also result in better quality cuts. It may be worth it to invest in bimetal blades, as they are much longer lasting and less prone to breaking. Because it is considered such a versatile and safe tool, many folks would recommend the jigsaw is the first saw to buy for a DIYer. Despite this, the jigsaw is still not the best tool to use when it comes to making long, fast and clean cuts. A circular saw, is a power saw using a tooth or abrasive disc, or blade to cut different materials using a rotary motion spinning around an arbor. A circular saw is a tool for cutting many materials such as wood, masonry, plastic, or metal, and may be handheld or mounted to a machine. In woodworking the term, circular saw, refers specifically to the handheld type and the table saw and chop saw or other common forms of circular saws. The circular saw is another great tool. It features a toothed cutting disc that rotates extremely quickly to make long, fast, straight cuts. The circular saw can cut through several different materials including wood, sheet materials, roofing, metal, masonry, and most types of pipe. Once again, the quality of your cuts in these materials will depend on choosing the correct blade. Most circular saws come with blades with 24 teeth, but a 50 to 60 tooth blade produces much cleaner cuts. The standard, 24 tooth blade works well for solid wood. A diamond blade should be used when cutting masonry materials. Use a fine tooth carbide blade for all types of piping except for cast iron. For cast iron piping and thin metal, a metal cutting blade is the best choice. A common complaint of circular saws is that they often produce rough, splintery edges, also known as tear-out. There are, however, a few tips that may reduce this problem. 
An accurately drawn line is very important. Sometimes, drawing your line on a piece of masking tape can help you to see it better and also reduce splintering. Pushing the saw slower and scoring your cut line are other great methods to use for splinter reduction. When it comes to curved cuts, the circular saw is definitely not the best choice. Many also claim that the circular saw is one of the most dangerous tools you can purchase. With the correct safety precautions, however, any tool can be safe to use. Jigsaws are versatile and smaller than a circular saw. They are lighter as well although not nearly as powerful overall. A jigsaw can cut curves a circular saw, well, they aren't made for that. Our jigsaw versus circular battle could already be over if you need a tool for wavy cuts. This style of saw is also considered safer than circular saws due to their design. The blades are smaller, and while they can be sharper, you won't lose an entire appendage to a jigsaw. People have lost hands to circular saws, a 7 and 1 quarter inches blade can do some serious damage. Is dust a concern or are you working an area where debris needs to be kept to a minimum? The jigsaw wins again in this area as they do not produce nearly as much dust. They are great for quick or curvy cuts and work on a wide range of materials. If you have used a jigsaw before, you know they can do some wonderful things. They are also seriously underpowered when it comes to certain types of cuts. The blades also tend to break no matter the quality. Again, as they allow you to cut curves, the blade can bind which will snap it in a second. That means you may need to stock up on blades. Once you consider the variety available, it can get expensive. Do you need to rip some lumber or frame a structure? You will get laughed off the job if you show up with a jigsaw. Whereas a jigsaw is a tool that allows you to perform a little artistry, a circular saw has one main goal. To cut the wood quickly. Circular saws are heavier than other types of saws. They are also able to cut through thicker stock, with relative ease including hardwoods that would dull a jigsaw blade quickly. You may not be able to cut wavy lines, but you can cut straight ones in a matter of seconds. Not a 6-inch dowel for a craft project, but full-length boards. These tools are used to frame houses and are of must, if you work construction. As for the blades, they are more expensive but last considerably longer unless you run into nails. You can also have blades sharpened or even re-tipped in some cases. On circular saw, you can't cut curves. Circular saws are also noisy and heavier. Needless to say, you will want to have a broom handy as well. These types of tools can make quite the mess and go well with a good shop back. Aside from not being as versatile, they are still an amazing tool and will make short work of wood and a few other select materials. To keep it simple, use a jigsaw when you need to make a curved cut. They are also speedy on smaller pieces of wood or metal and great for tight spots where other saws cannot fit. If you need to do more delicate work, this is definitely the tool for you. It's ideal for small projects around the house and extremely handy if you make a lot of crafts. Use a circular saw when you want to build something. You may be able to build a dog house or take on thousands of craft projects with a jigsaw, but you can't frame a house or garage. If you need to rip sheets of plywood, cut stakes or saw a long straight line, choose a circular saw. In the end, this jigsaw versus circular saw battle comes down to the tool you need for the job. Comparing the two is like comparing apples and oranges as they are totally different tools. While the only true similarity is the fact they are both used to cut things, both tools should be in your shop if you can afford them.